scientists have just found this week a meteor shower, unprecedented meteor shower is due and they've already put a date on it next year. And it's all in line with the tetrad, the solar eclipses, lunar eclipses, all the stuff that we've been talking about. It's right there. I'll show it to you next week. All right. So uh, we know that's true. And then the first trumpet, which is the tribulation starts. Revelation 8 verse 7, and hail and fire followed, mingled with blood, and they were thrown down to the earth, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all green grass was burned up. In other words, tribulation starts with a massive meteor shower, and this one hurts. This one, a third of everything gets destroyed. A third. Not bad. God says a third is destroyed. In other words, two-thirds escapes unharmed. So the question has always been, well, what does that mean? How can a third of everything be destroyed? But you know, the answer is staring us in the face. Once I show it to you, it will be as clear as day. You ready for it? How can a third of everything be destroyed? Why would God tell us such a thing? Well, take a look at the globe. Asia, Africa, and Europe make up two-thirds of the landmass of the planet. North and South America make up a third of the landmass and also a third of the oceans. Take a good hard look at that globe. Revelation 8 is predicting which side of the earth will be struck. Scientists will make an erroneous calculation because they have no model for a 12-hour rotational delay. In other words, when this thing starts coming close, scientists will say, this is the safe side. America will be safe. But God had recorded in the book of Joshua, that one of the times when planet X pa passed by, it actually caused the rotation to slow down by 12 hours. Unless you're a Christian, you have no concept of that. Unless you believe in the electric universe, you won't even suspect that could happen. There's no model for that. And so what I believe will happen is as, th as the meteors come, just like the Bible says, instead of repenting and saying, God is right, I want to believe the Bible now before I get killed, they say, Science will take care of this. We're so smart. We've already predicted where it's going to land. It's going to land in Asia, Europe, the Middle East, Africa. And I believe people will buy tickets and get on airplanes to go over to the Americas and not realize they're going to their doom. And they will die there. And that's why in the book of Revelation it says, when Babylon goes up in smoke, everybody cries. Why? Because they didn't expect it. They thought, no, 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 America's going to escape. The rest are going to get hit. Then suddenly, within 12 hours, the whole picture changes. You can't leave the, the, the continent fast enough. And then everybody starts wailing and crying, oh, Babylon, Babylon, how great you were. We didn't expect it. Well, you know, the scientists always say, like, they expect everything. They can calculate everything. But you need to know. This is why I say you need the 4,000 years of history. You need to know the whole gamut of the Bible. Now, all the events will line up. All the events will become relevant to understanding the book of Revelation. So, how true God's word is in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I believe even Christians will end up, instead of trusting the Bible, they will trust their astronomers, their scientists, their government, saying, everything's going to be okay. Everybody fly over to America. It'll be the safest place in the world. Now, by the way, I had some YouTube...